So we did a study uh, of childhood diarrhea. It doesn't get a lot of attention, but it actually kills about half a million kids each year, mostly in Africa and South Asia. That's a lot. That works out to about one per minute. One thing that is impressed upon you uh, when you visit these sites is that diarrheal disease is of great importance and there's a lot of research interest in diarrheal disease and that the pediatric wards uh, are, are dominated by diarrheal disease and pneumonia and so that reducing the burden of diarrheal disease will have a huge impact in those settings. We worked with a large study that had already been performed about eight years ago called the GEMS study. It stands for Global Enteric Multicenter Study. It was a large comprehensive study of diarrhea in Africa and South Asia. With the original analysis of the study, they could identify uh, causes of diarrhea in about half of the cases. The majority of that was due to rotavirus, Shigella, Cryptosporidium, and this E. coli. What we found with this reanalysis was that we could identify the cause in 80 to 90 percent. Those same four were there, but then we also found adenovirus and campylobacter to be important ones, and those were not found to be as important at all with the earlier study. So it really narrowed that, that gap of what are we missing and what is the cause, and I really feel like we have uh, a pretty clear picture of what the main infections are now. It is difficult to do good epidemiology when you have good tests for some causes of diarrhea and not so good tests for other causes of diarrhea. And the real focus of our work has been to level that diagnostic playing field and provide equally sensitive tests across a broad range of potential causes of disease. Our group here at UVA has been working on molecular diagnostic methods. It's called polymerase chain reaction, and basically it amplifies the DNA of these infections. We compartmentalized all of these reactions into a card, so you can put eight stool specimens in this case, put them in this card, and then we run them in a machine. It amplifies 32 infections we looked for. We did it on over 10,000 specimens, and not only are these methods very sensitive, meaning they can detect low amounts of these infections, but they also tell you how much is there, so they give you the quantity. We ran these uh, diagnostic tests at four labs all around the world, as well as ours. The most noble aim of all research in global international health and public health is the fulfillment of human potential this being a very, very common cause of childhood illness. When children have diarrhea there, it has a huge impact on families missing the harvest. Uh, a month's worth of pay can be in itself a driver of uh, persistent poverty and lack of opportunity. The strategy is, is set. Hopefully with the data, we can, we've done our part and we can now take the next steps.